Okay, so let's rock and roll on these. These are our select practice problems. Uh, we got three of them, right? I believe it's a 10, it's an either an eight or a 10 question um, assignment. So uh, we got three problems to go over. So we got problem two, problem four, and problem six, all right? So problem two is one where we're gonna have to change this to this, be the same base as this. And so think about your fives, and we know five to the one is 25. Or sorry, five little one is five, not twenty-five. Good lord, five squared is twenty-five. Getting ahead of myself, and then five to the third power is one twenty-five. And then if you multiply that by yet another five, you will get to your target number of six hundred twenty-five. Meaning we are going to use this in place of that. So we will go five to the fourth is greater than five to the a plus b. Now that we have um, establish this, we can get rid of our bases because they're the same. So we go four is greater than a plus eight. And then we will subtract eight from both sides. And this is a very nice and quick problem. And this says a has to be less than or equal to negative four. All right. If I take this and I put it in here just to check and make sure it zeroes everything out, it does work, right? You get negative four plus eight is four and five to the fourth it does work out with that right so it works that way so now let's pick a number that's less than negative four and make sure this works so a number that's less than negative four that will work in this let's just let's do negative five so let's go 625 has to be greater than or equal to five to the negative five plus eight all right well negative five plus eight is three Right, so this is 5 to the third, 625, and 5 to the third is 125. So 625 is, in fact, greater than, it is not equal to, it is greater than 125. So this is a true statement, right? Um, and uh, that means my answer right here gets circled, and we're in a good place. All right, let's do this next one. So what we have here, hopefully you guys see that you got 6. And then we've got 36 here. So we would take, um, we would hopefully recognize that 6 times 6, which is 6 squared, is equal to 36, right? So we're going to rewrite this as 6 squared, even though it's going to be in the denominator. So we've got 6 to the 2x minus 9 is less than or equal to 1 over 6 squared. And remember, if, uh, if I want to get this to switch positions so that the base is the same, it's got to be 6, not 1, 6, right? Then all you got to do is just change your exponent from positive to negative. So this becomes 6, 2x minus 9 is less than or equal to um, 6 to the negative 2 power, right? So that's, that's pretty sweet, right? That was, that was easy. Um, we like that. And so now I can um, recognize that I have the same base and um, drop them. So you get 2x minus 9 is less than or equal to negative 2. So we will, um, we will add 9 to both sides. And that's going to move this into a positive number. This becomes 7. So we have 2x is less than or equal to 7. And then we will divide both sides by 2. And we get x is less than or equal to 7 halves. Um, I'm not even going to mess around with seven halves. Um, we're going to hope it's right, <laughs> and I'm sure it is. I mean, if if I if I put it in there, you get you get the twos cancel, and you get seven minus nine, so you get negative two over here. And six to the negative two power is actually one thirty six. So yeah, it does work out that way. But we're going to we're going to try a number to see if the inequality part of this is right. So we're going to try zero because zero falls in that range of being less than seven halves. So you go 6 to the 2 times 0 minus 9. Is that less than or equal to 136? Well, this goes away, right? And you get 6 to the negative 9 power is less than or equal to 136. Well, that means that's 1 over 6 to the 9th, right? Which is less than or equal to 136. Um, and I know that 36 is 6 squared. So 1 over a larger number than 6 squared, which is 6 to the ninth power, is, of course, going to be a smaller number overall because of the fact that it's a fraction, right? So fractions are like kind of the opposites. 
And so, yes, that is less than this. It checks out and we, we like our answer. Right? We like it a lot. It's a good answer. Okay, now the last problem we're gonna do is one where we're gonna have to change both sides. So something that works out. So we're gonna change nine, we're gonna change both of these so they've got base three. Because hopefully you recognize that that works for both of them. So nine is three to the second power. And then 27 is three to the third power, all right? And so now what I will do is I will rewrite this with my three. Okay, we got 2p plus 3, and then less than or equal to 3 to the third power, which is 4p minus 1. Okay, and so now um, recognize that this and this are multiplying each other, so I'll put these in my parentheses to just kind of reinforce that idea. And so we can drop our bases because they're the same. We got 2 times the quantity 2p plus 3 has to be less than or equal to 3 times the quantity 4p minus 1. All right, so now let's do some, some multiplying here. So we got 2 times 2p is 4p, and then 2 times 3 is 6. And less than or equal to, well, 3 times 4p is 12p, and 3 times negative 1 I don't know what happened there, is um, negative 3. All right, so uh, let's move, uh, let's, let's have a little practice here with flipping signs. So we're going to go minus 12p. So we're going to move this over here just to make ourselves a little uncomfortable. So this is going to give me negative 8p plus 6 is less than or equal to negative 3. And now I'm going to move this 6 over to the other side by doing the opposite, and you get this really ugly negative 8p is less than or equal to negative 9u. All right, now we are going to divide by negative 8. Okay, and when we divide by negative 8, this goes away, and you get p, and it also flips this sign because we divide it by negative. So it comes over and becomes greater than or equal to and these go away and you get 9 eighths. And 9 eighths is like 1.125, I believe, right? Because 1 eighth is like 12, 12 and a half percent, right? So it's 1, 1 and 12 and a half percent. So um, P is greater than that, right? So I'm, I do not really feel like checking this with 9 eighths. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope it's right. Um, but what I am going to do is I am going to check a number that is larger than 9 eighths um, in this inequality and see that if it works. So what the number I am going to use is I am going to use 2 because this is just a little bigger than 1, so let's use 2. So we got 9 to the 2 times 2 plus 3 is less than or equal to 27 to the 4 times 2 minus 1, right? So get 9. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. Is 9 to the 7th less than or equal to 27 to the, well, this becomes 8 minus 1, which is also 7. Well, 9 to the 7th has to be less than 27 to the 7th, because 27 is a bigger number. If you multiply a larger number 7 times than a smaller number 7 times, of course, you're going to get a bigger number, right? So it, yeah, it checks out, you know, just basic number sense here. So we, we like that answer. I am going to take this 9 eighths really quick, and I am going to actually check it and see um, if it works out, right? This will be a little bit of exercise for us with dealing with icky fractions, right? So we got 27. And believe it or not, these are, these, it, it could be worse because at least, things simplify, right? So cross that out, this becomes four. So you get nine fourths plus three, right? And I'm just gonna do my fractions and I'm gonna write three as, a, as 12 fourths, all right? So you get 21 fourths. So I get nine to the 21 fourths power. Okay, that's insane, but whatever, all right? And then here, you get two, so you get nine halves minus one. Well, nine halves minus two over two, right, is seven halves, right? So we get 27 to the seven halves power. 
all right? So 21 fourths, all right? So now what we do to check this is we write these both in base three. So we got three to the base two times 21 fourths, all right? So that's gonna take this and cancel it and make this 21 halves, all right? So that hopefully will work out. We have three, three to the third, which is how you write 27 times seven halves. Well, you just multiply three times seven and you get 21 halves for your exponent. And so these match, right? And because they match, it works, right? So, yep, everything, everything worked out great. So um, hope this is helpful to you. Um, basically doing what we did in the previous lesson just with inequalities now and just don't forget occasionally you got to flip some stuff and just pay attention don't go to sleep on this stuff so have some fun guys safe